see a picture in Romans chapter 14 about conflict resolution. You can't have intimacy and have conflict bubbling all the time. Let's read this passage together. Let us therefore make every effort to do what leads to peace and to mutual edification. Circle, let us. Okay, that's step one. Who's us? Followers of Jesus Christ. Let us. So this is addressed to believers. Then I want you to circle, make every effort. Versus what? Half effort? Sparse effort? Little effort? No effort? Why does God demand that we make every effort to do what leads to peace in our relationships, particularly in the marriage relationship. Because when we look at the cross, do we see little, half, no, or 100% effort? We see 100%. Jesus Christ went and used every last bit of energy to make peace between you and God, to give you salvation, to give you redemption, to give you forgiveness. He went to the hill and died on the hill so that you could have peace with God. So when the Bible says, let us make every effort, our example, our model, is Jesus Christ himself. And then it says, make every effort to do what leads to peace. Circle that. Do what leads to peace. Versus what? What's the opposite of peace? War. Okay, I want you to say something with me. Conflict is inevitable. Destruction is optional. Put that on your fridge. Conflict's inevitable. Okay? Two sinful, broken, imperfect people with issues and wounds and character and man and woman and Mars and Venus and all that stuff. Okay? Conflict is inevitable. But destruction is optional. And can I just tell you, Praying couples are synonymous with more peaceful couples. Amen. 